Hey, this is uh, Django. I got a little video here. This is just the intro. Um, this is the uh, Yoda FX Graflex DIY kit. Uh, you get all these uh, little plastic pieces, the hardware, uh, the battery holder, Velcro, some brass tubing, plastic tubing, uh, synthetic jewel, and wiring, some tubing the uh, hardware and the uh, screws to hold everything together. That's all that came with mine. Oh, and this huge manual. Pretty big. It's... Hmm, 29 front and back and pages, so this will be a challenge. Uh, what didn't come with the kit um, is a plunger switch. Um, that is going to be available extra according to the manual. Uh, this is the blade holder from the Graf Graflex shop and some hardware for the Graflex itself. Uh, and this is a vintage Graflex that I'm using that I bought several years ago. It's going to be in the a new hoops new a new hoax style, excuse me. <laughs> and I will uh, be doing little videos and probably putting them together as I go. Okay, we're going to continue. Uh, this is the second part. This is the uh, completed saber uh, using uh, Yoda's DIY chassis kit. Um, the saber was the original one I bought it uh, from him. Um, well, the outer shell is the main body here. And I put together the kit that he sent along, and it took quite a long time to do it. Uh, we're, I think we were at 19 man hours actually into it started on Saturday and I didn't really finish up until tonight um, I had to do some uh, adjustments uh, on the fitment because this is an older style uh, Graflex and there's actually a nut on the inside of this that holds this on and that was uh, rubbing up against the uh, pommel there so I had to make the pommel a little uh, the speaker housing a little bit shorter um, well now I'm just gonna start it up Okay, and there's the idle LED up here at the top. Um, there's also another LED down here at the bottom. I'm going to try and get a little close up to the crystal chamber. You can see some of the wiring in there. 
and the main power switch. Okay, I did a couple of uh, interesting things. Um, this is actually the main power switch, the slider. There's a momentary switch down here in the bottom. There's no power off protection. Um, this down here is the blade retention screw. Uh, I was tempted to make this the button and or this one the auxiliary button and this is the main button like in uh, like my other Graflex, my ESB but I decided to go with the uh, this way as a uh, something new and anyway you uh, hold it down you see the blade plug in there and here is the auxiliary button And to turn it off, you just push down and push. I call it luck. In my experience, there's no such thing as luck. And you push down and push back up again. You don't want to leave it sitting down on a momentary switch. It'll uh, make it go wonky. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and open it up a little bit farther. I have to do that to uh, take this ring off so I can close the saber up properly for the rest of the demo. This is the uh, display ring, as I like to call it. And here is the power pack and the speaker pod. There's usually like a copper ring around here, but I had to uh, take that off to make these short enough. Uh, you can't see it down in there. It's like a black hole. Uh, maybe you can see it a little bit. Down there in the bottom is the uh, nut that was getting in the way. I call it luck. In my experience, there's no such thing as luck. Saber is uh, plenty loud. And pretty secure. Everything's all locked in. Okay, uh, now we're going to go into the menu. Uh, this has my uh, new uh, A New Hope boot package I'm working on um, for the A New Hope fans. Um, it's got a bunch of quotes from... The Weapon of a Jedi Knight. Episode 4, Training Bot. Yeah, that was Episode 4, Training Bot, and uh, The Weapon of a Jedi Knight, that is the menu sound. That's Mad Cow's hero. What a piece of junk! I had to put that one in. That's one of my favorite ones. This is the weapon of a Jedi Knight. That's no moment. That's the eye player function. Reaver. And Mad Cow, or Shades on your Soul Reaver. One of my favorite fonts. So. I always put that in. Cal's Bespin. Felt a great disturbance in the force. This is the weapon of a Jedi Knight. Bespin. Episode 4 Remastered. An elegant weapon for the more civilized age.
think that's it for the sounds, but let's check one more time. This is the weapon of a Jedi Knight. Episode 4, Remastered. Episode 4, Training Bot. Yeah, that's where we were from the beginning, so I'm gonna go through uh, and pick another one for the rest of the demo. That's good enough. Okay. Now to get the blade plug out. There it goes, just falls out. This is one of the Master Yodas. Learned how to make these recently. Pretty fun to make. Okay, for a blade, this is a Earth style blade. Or Django style, I should say. We'll make ours just a little bit differently. But as far as that goes, Irv uh, style is uh, basically a sheet of Corbin film on the outer, the outside of the the outermost inner core, and then you put a uh, four or five feet of polypropylene film inside. Uh, as far as my style goes, uh, I don't like. Uh, I like shiny tips, so I put a piece of mylar up in the uh, tip so it reflects light back down, but it also shines through the top. It's semi transparent and semi reflective. Okay, so turn the saber on. This has clash on flash, too. It also has a vibration motor in it that's very, very subtle. You can feel it when you're holding it, but you know it doesn't vibrate a ton like uh, another saber that I have. I, I wanted it that way from the get-go. Let me catch the light so you can see the color. See, it's a nice sky blue. That is the red and green dye wired in parallel for the main LED. And a red and a white for the clash on flash. One more font. This is the weapon of a Jedi Knight. Episode four, Remastered. Episode four, Training Bot. Rain system. I feel the force. The rain sizzle. I don't know if the flicker is com coming up properly. It's supposed to look like the uh, raindrops are hitting the blade with a little flicker. The, uh, the saber. I hope you enjoyed the little demo here. Uh, Master Yoda's uh, DIY kits will be available soon. Um, from what I understand, the first release is going to be a little bit limited, um, and then there'll be more on the second batch. 
And I don't know how he's distributing, that's just how he said it was going to be. Thanks for looking. Later.